morning. Good morning. We're going to get started in just a few seconds. So please come on over, find a seat, find some shade if you can. It's a beautiful day. Good morning. My name is John Tyler. I'm the District 5 Secretary for FDOT. I'm also the Chief Executive Officer of SunRail. Thank you for all coming today as we officially break ground on the new DeLand Station. A major step forward to realizing the original vision, 17 stations in the SunRail commuter rail system across Central Florida. The design for the new station will reflect DeLand's historic and natural beauty and feature a unique center platform. The train is safe, convenient, clean, and affordable. Every time a station's been built on this corridor, and I truly believe this will be uh, no exception to that, it's gonna really help connect Volusia County and DeLand to the rest of the corridor, especially with all of the ecotourism and trail opportunities that we have, the historic downtowns. I mean, it really is amazing. And the demand even for recreational ridership is gonna continue to grow and climb. So, so as some of you probably know, when this was all taking form, I was not excited about SunRail. And the reason is because the cost per rider is high. But as I study transportation, I look at a road. And from the very first day of American history when we started building roads, there was one reason we did that. It was to bring wealth into a community. I'm going to add one other reason. It's to increase the quality of your lifestyle. Roads equal freedom. This train will equal freedom. It takes you where you want to go, gets you off the road. You can sit there with your family in a, in a safe You can do your work on the way to work in the morning. You can get your car off the road. This, this is a future. It's going to be the future of America. We're starting it here. Southeast is not known for train service. We're going to make it known for train service. This train can bring economic development. The city of DeBerry is projecting a billion dollars worth of economic development in their community. They're building a whole new downtown. They have vision. My now friend Keith Chester called me, who was adamantly against SunRail, and said, it's coming, let's make it happen. Let's make it the best that it can possibly be. So we sat down together. We pulled in Margie, uh, Maggie Ardito, who represents bikers from all over. Um, we pulled in the, uh, uh, the, the French family who are local historians and entrepreneurs and said, what do we need? What can we do to make this really special? It needs to be safe. There needs to be shade. There needs to be bathrooms, for crying out loud. There needs to be a bike trail welcoming center with a bike uh, uh, repair center. There's, we need to welcome people when they come here. And then we need to get them to DeLand. So we need a safe trail that goes right out Grand Avenue to New York. Because we, we drove Euclid. We drove Minnesota. We drove all the potential routes to get to the land. None of them were acceptable because we'd be taking road, we'd be taking property from very small lawns already. Nobody wants that. So I said, let's go down to 44 and, and build a bike trail all the way to the land, all the way to the fairground. And Maggie says... There ain't no biker going to ride on 44, and, and Tad Caspier said, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. We're going to build a real bike trail, not on the road, but off the road in the right of way. We're going to make it, we're going to make the land shine. It's My excitement was through the roof riding from DeBerry here. That trip, I think, highlights the natural beauty of West Volusia uh, more than anything could. And so... With all the legs that, I, that I've ridden on the rest of the system, I think that's probably the most beautiful section that I've ever seen, and it's so representative of West Volusia. I'm looking forward to the day where people are coming to DeLand for the Fall Festival of the Arts, coming to DeLand for various functions that we're having, and coming to DeLand to experience this natural beauty that we have in West Volusia.
Florida, this is what we have to do for budget expenses. 